Luther Family Services has this profound love for all human beings, no matter what walk of life, what color their skin is, um, what struggles that they've endured. And I think that participants feel that and understand that we are here to help them no matter what their situation is. I was planning suicide um, and to kill myself because of situations that had fallen apart at home. I went to the doctor. Um, she had me take a pregnancy test. She comes in the room and says, you're pregnant, Amber, and I was just shocked. Like, I couldn't get my words out. I didn't know what to think. Holy macaroni, like, what happened? So I'm very thankful for a place like this with having different resources available, like the boutique, and then just like parenting classes helped a lot because I did not know what to do as a first time mom. And then just different new classes that they've offered to help with budget and just with new learning experiences. I've gained more confidence and it's one of my favorite places to be when I'm going through a hard time. And it just lifts me up every time I come here. My name is Amber Skinner. Um, I have a son and he is four years old. I believe that our role and our purpose is to remind others that they have a purpose. That they feel value within themselves and understand that they were placed on this earth just like all of us with a purpose and that we can move forward. We can always move forward. We can always change how we do things. We can always improve upon how we parent, how we conduct our life, um, how we view ourselves. So Ava Demi Rupert Yates, she is three years old, born November 24, 2015. There was a time where it was really hard and really, really tough, of course. The whole burnout moment came through to me and I didn't really know what to do and I just shut down. Although I kept writing my notebook, what I wanted to do for myself in this future plan, but I didn't know who to turn to. I didn't know what to do. And I thought, well, I still have lived with her services. I can go to them. If I went through the abortion in 2015, I feel like my life would have been totally different today. The whole process of, of all this, I'm realizing that I don't have to be, you know, so shut down from everybody and be discarded from everyone, that there are people, not even just here, but around the city that free month, I never really noticed unless the brain source of Lutheran Resources would have told me about it. Without encouragement and without feeling welcome somewhere, I think that people shut down or they just go back to what they know. I don't think that we would have the success that we have and the outcomes that we have with our participants if they didn't feel that unconditional support and advocacy from our staff. You're in the most dangerous world, <laughs> whatever it could be, but I'm here to protect you, I'm here to love you, and I'm here to teach you. We do want to turn now to the deadly and historic flooding in the Midwest. Parts of the country's midsection slammed by days of catastrophic flooding. Many people are living in households or situations or environments that is not what we'd want our neighbor to live in. Um, and unfortunately, the flood really hit areas that were already struggling and that just adds another layer of struggle. But I don't think I've ever felt prouder to live somewhere, to be a part of such a gathering of, of people that just jumped right in there and helped and I feel like everybody kind of knows their role and wh what they can do to assist, and we just do it. We really believe that education is power, and people know what they know, and they do different when they know different. 